guys, Sean the Bufflin here and welcome back to another video on my channel and today we are going to be talking about both the Pokemon TCG as a whole and uh, one of the most recent products that was released for the Pokemon TCG which is this thing, the tra Trainer tool uh, Toolkit. So this, um, this time at the moment with all the struggles that we're going through and whatnot has been a difficult time for the TCG, there's been no tournaments available and there's been no like competitive things that people can, can be going to and all the rest of it. So it's been a difficult time for people that are in the game to carry on playing. And because of that, um, some of the player base left and, and this, that and the other. With the lockdown soon, hopefully soon, to be uh, lifted, now is a better time than any for new players who have been interested in uh, getting a new hobby and a, um, or getting into a new card game. Now would be the best time to do it as their uh, tournaments will be back on soon. There has been recent news and updates of the Pokemon World Championship, which is going to be set for 2021, and it is also still going to be set in our capital of our country, London, still. So if we've got any players uh, that are looking to join the game again, now's the time. And with that being said, if you are totally new to the Pokemon TCG, this is the product to buy, and as I go through the product, we'll show you why. So it was already covered in cellophane, so if you do order one, make sure that the cellophane is still on it. You know, everyone wants a product that is meant to be the, the way it is, uh, not tampered with, basically. And here we have the contents of our box. So I'm going to lay the contents of the box on the mat, uh, on, on the mat. There are new dice, which are good because they have various numbers on now and it makes it easier to do math again especially if you're new to the game uh you want to uh dedicate less brain power to the mathematical part of the game so much as spending time learning the cards and the effects and the interactions with other other cards and things um burn and poison damage count uh burn and poison counters they're a little bit differently designed than usual they look uh, equally cool <coughs> Now, the actual um, things that come with it as well are also four packs, Unbroken Bonds, Shield and Sword. Uh, this is probably the best set of the uh, Sun and Moon era. And then Shield and so uh, Sword and Shield and two Rebel Clash packs. We'll go through them in a minute. Um, a whole bunch of energy. Energy is necessary for every single deck. And then a separate pack of cards that are dedicated to the building and creation of higher level decks and competitive level decks. And then finally, a pack of sleeves, which are very beautiful sleeves as well, to be honest. And uh, if they're any better quality than the previous ones, I may consider actually using these on the deck because very colorful. And uh, very, well, it's pragmatic for the moment, so the it's uh, very good to represent that too. Uh, so we're going to go through, we'll open the packs last because I want to go through why this is so important. The, the whole trainer's call toolkit is so important to new players and I just have to get this open. Which is uh, more difficulty than it deserves. <laughs> Don't, do not want to damage the cards. <clears throat> so, mo uh, first and foremost, two top cards that everyone was hyped about, especially the um, the the continuing players. This Trainer's Hall kit comes with two Dene GX. Now, this is was so hyped for multiple reasons. Firstly, it was only Japan that got this particular artwork for quite some time, and I mean, I'll hold it up to the camera. It is absolutely beautiful. Like, right? it's just so adorable. It's a uh, Another one of the uh, Pikachu clones, but in a beautiful uh, Japanese artwork style. So this is one of the best draw supporters of uh, draw support Pokemon of the game, and the fact that two came in this box makes that makes up for the whole toolkit by itself. Because the Dene's for the longest time before this toolkit came around would have been about fifteen pound each, um, and as the toolkit in general costs somewhere about thirty pounds. Uh, these two cards alone do make up the basically the entire uh, cost of the product. Not to mention everything else that you get with it, including the four packs and the sleeves, the dice, um, and these cards as well. These cards are hard to come by in general. 
none of them are easy to pull. Um, I've had to buy play sets of these myself in the past, so it goes to show what this trainer toolkit really does have to offer. So, so we'll start with uh, some of the supporters that come in in the set. So we've got two Mallow and Lana, uh, an amazing card that helps you switch your active Pokemon to the bench, and you can also use it to heal damage as well by discarding two cards. This was previously uh, a very hard to get hold of card and cost somewhere about six to eight pounds for the hollow that comes out of the uh, Rebel Clash. So it's good that they included one in here. And then there's all sorts of different arrays of items. So uh, we'll put the supporters there. We have a new artwork of Poker Gear, which is really cool. This is the other thing that uh, players were hyped about this particular product because these different artwork of cards that are in this um, in this product only came out in Japan and we finally got them and they are still going to be legal for quite some time as well uh, so we'll keep that there uh, we have a copy of Quick Ball Generic Searcher uh, for consistency Fire Crystal very good for fire decks helps to recover energy Rare Candy for stage 2 decks to uh, skip a stage of evolution to get uh, to get rolling quickly Energy Spinner is a very good uh, card that was ran in a lot of popular decks and still is at the moment, I'm running this in a Dragapult list that I'm playing online. Uh, switch oh, is just a generic switching card to uh, stop you from getting stuck in the active against mill decks and all sorts. Tool Scrapper, and a, another extremely useful card that goes into many decks. It helps you get rid of um, opponents, escape boards, U-turn boards in the future, um, Vitality Bands, Big Charms, and in the future, the most important thing that's going to help get rid of is the new Charm that's coming out in... Legendary Heartbeat, or the Leon, the Champion Cape, Leon's Cape, because that cape gives your uh, opponent's additional Pokemon 50 HP, and no one wants that, so Tool Scrapper gets rid of that. Metal Saucer uh, is an energy acceleration for every single Metal deck, and there's some other cards in here as well. We've got Speed Energy here, helps uh, Lightning decks draw an additional two cards for an attachment. We've got more supporters. Welder, one of the best supporters in the game, in my opinion, like that's ever been released, it not only accelerates energy, which because one of the basic rules of the game is you can only attach one energy per turn. If there's any card in, if there's any effect in the game that basically cheats that condition of the game, it's immediately strong. But this allows you to cheat it twice because you can attach two energy and still draw cards as well. So world is broken. If you're interested in building a new deck and if you're new to the game, try fire. Fire is really consistent. It's really fun as well. And there's not a lot of water decks running around at the moment. So here's another one of the uh, alternate artworks that we got from Japan. Reset Stamp. Looks absolutely lovely. Uh, all these cartoony artwork cards look incredible to me, I, I think. Uh, we'll move on. We've got Ordinary Rod, a staple for recovering cards because going through your resources too quick is can sometimes be very catastrophic to your game state and you don't want that. You never want to run out of energy and such. Uh, another one of the artworks, the special artworks, is this P Pokemon Communication that allows you to swap Pokemon back into your deck to uh, recover a new one. We've got another supporter here. Uh, these are all in random order, so I'm putting them out as I discover them. Uh, another supporter is Marnie, uh, one of the strongest cards that, that came out of Sword and Shield. Pretty much every deck runs three to four of this. Uh, it's so strong, it's better than Judge, in my opinion. Uh, another item... Here for retreating, it's a tool that allows you to retreat and because uh, it reduces your retreat cost by two. We have a stadium finally, we've come across a stadium. Uh, Turfield Stadium just came out in Rebel Clash, so this is giving Rebel Clash cards like the boss's orders that I've shown before here and uh, Turfield Stadium and there was, there was another one somewhere, I can't remember what it is, but it base, uh, basically, the fact that they, were, they put Rebel Clash cards in here, despite the fact that Rebel Clash was the latest set in the UK, is all the more reason to get this card, uh, to get this box if you are uh, joining the game or if you, if you do want to join the game. Uh, so next up we've got another tool, Vitality Band, increases your Pokemon's damage by 10. Sorry, it's uh, not exactly a flat surface, that's because I'm using my playmat. Um, we have another Stadium. Uh, which again, when I was talking about fire decks before, giant half, uh, discard a card in your hand, add two fires from your deck. It's not only deck thinning, which is improves consistency, but uh, it helps you get that energy into your hand for the welder. Got another energy here, 
We've got Twin Energy, which is like the double colorless energy, but not quite. It only provides two colorless energy to non-GX and non-V Pokemon. So if you play Expanded, it does work on uh, it does work on EXs, which is good. Uh, we have another supporter, which is Green's Exploration. I was running this in my Guard and Sylveon list for the longest time. Uh, this card, there's there's so many good things about it, and it's so versatile. The only downside to it is that you cannot play Pokemon with any abilities in a deck that you are playing greens in. For example, the Dedenne that comes in the set, which has an ability. Uh, but it allows you to grab any two, uh, two trainer cards from your deck to your hand, which is insane. Uh, we have another Tool Scrapper. It's going to stick up there. Um, another energy. So this is a Aurora energy. This is the new Rainbow energy. It's It's got its perks and its downsides compared to Rainbow energy because although it provides one energy of every type, not at the same time, by the way, uh, but you do have to discard a card to play this as opposed to Rainbow energy that just reduces uh, your Pokemon that you attach it to by 10, 10 uh, HP. Um, another supporter, we have a uh, Pokemon... Re uh, Professor's Research, one of the strongest draw supporters in the game. Discard your hand, draw seven. It's the most aggressive draw supporter in the game. Now we'll pop that there. We have another copy of Welder. So, um, we'll go, we'll like uh, spread everything out again in a bit. I'm just trying to make some space. Uh, Evolution Incense is a consistency card that allows you to grab your Evolution Pokemon from your Dexy hand. Another Speed Energy that we mentioned before, which we'll pop over here. Attached to a Lightning Pokemon Draw 2. Another copy of the Japanese style artwork of Reset Stamp. So this is why even all players would love to get this box because all the old um, cards being reprinted and new artwork, it's always appealing towards all players. Um, another Fire Crystal, again for Fire Decks. Another copy of Boss's Orders. So this, deck is, uh, this product has already came with two of the most expensive cards in Rebel Clash which is the boss's orders. Another copy of Marnie. Um, another Rare Candy. Quick Ball. And I think at this point it's all going to be repeating um, the cards that have already been through. So another Pokemon Communication. I think there's two of every... Well, two of these four artwork of cards that they reprinted. Um, and yeah, there's just multiple copies of the, all the other stuff, basically. Switches, Metal Sources, Aurora Energy. There's two of the Special Energy Speed, Twin and Aurora. Another Ordinary Rod, Vitality Band. There's the Twin Energy. Another Research. Another Turfield Stadium. Another Energy Spinner for more energy finding. Uh, more evolution finding consistency. And as you can see, I've made a total mess of this now. <laughs> uh, Giant Half, Green's Exploration, again, over here, and Air Balloon. So, all of these cards are extremely helpful for building a first-time deck. No player ever wants to come to a new game and find out that all the uh, current players are have access to all these cards that are hard to come by because not many stores have the old packs in and even if you do out buy the old packs you might not pull said cards and they're not in uh they're not in all the structure decks either so it can be a pain and this set with all those cards that just that you just seen make uh first time building of decks absolutely easy as pie um so we're going to go into the pack opening and we'll go with the oldest first so this is from the sun and moon set it's also the set that the Dene that we uh, just showed off before came in as well. So we have Squirtle, Rhyhorn, Rattata, Goldeen, Diglett, Tangler, and a Marowak as the rare. <laughs> it's not great. Uh, and that Metal Energy, B Springer, Hitmontop, and Gliscor. So pop these to one size, uh, making the pack opening very quick if we can. Onto Shield and Sword. Or Sword and Shield. I'll say that wrong. Uh, we have Chinchow, Diglett, Ferrisseed, Goldeen, Rosalia, a Nicket Reverse Hollow, and a Claydol as the rare. So, not great, enough for energy. Pseudo Eldegoss, and Energy Search. So, no hits so far, but if I was going to pull anything, it'd rather be in one of these two. So, let's see what we can get.
we have coughing, impidimp, shinks, sandy ghast, roly coly, a reverse hollow vullaby, and a full art milo trainer, which is a nice pull to get. Very beautiful card. Uh, lightning energy, palpatoad, morgum, and full heal. So we'll pop this uh, on top of the Dedenius to keep it safe. So at least we got something out of the packs. Making this, again, worthwhile already in regards to price and expense. And we have our final, uh, final pack of Rebel Clash. So, excuse me, uh, we have Magmar, Yan Mask, Surskit, Stuffle, Coughing, a Reverse Hollow Milo, <laughs> and a Butterfree as the rare, a Fighting Energy, a Hat Drum, Curse Shovel, it's quite a good card, and Phalanx. Um, so, that's, uh, that's going to be all for today's video, and all I can say is that I just really recommend that every single player, whether new or old to the game, buy, buy this product. It's, uh, it's extremely good for its value. Nearly every box that I've seen opened online has had some sort of decent pull in. Uh, mine in this case would be the Milo. Um, so, uh, thank you very much uh, and thank you to you all for watching. I would hope you'd leave me a like and I hope you enjoyed the video and I will be soon coming to uploading live videos on YouTube as well and doing some live battles on PTCGO which is going to be good fun. So uh, thank you to you all again and see you all soon.